Hello everyone, welcome back to Scratch. Um, so here is a Scratch, a, a rule out Scratch edition developer team studio. I haven't shown this on stream before, but here we are. So this is in the comments so far is just all my update stuff. So to do with version 2.5 is the customization of bullet card amounts. So the new maximum amount will be 10. Oh, yeah, that's what I plan for version 3.4. So what I'm going to do right now is version 2.5, where you can choose how many bullet cards you want, which will be in between 3 to 5 or random. Uh, the setting up the cloud variable for public open testing is done because... um. Oh, wait, no, that's, uh, yeah, uh, so for our rooms feature, which is to do with version 3.1, um, the cloud variables for communication was supposed to be added, or was going to be, but I was going to use a rooms feature, which meant I'd have, like, a certain amount of rooms with, um, like, probably, I was going to say two rooms. And it would use as many variables as required, which is more than 14. Unfortunately, we only have six, a limit of six, which is written here. I was going to use uh, a system where you could just, we could all see these. Instead, I will be using a different thing, which means I will have to make a copy of this project here once I get it updated to that, where the host provides all the information to the other player. For example, as I like to call it, a downstream feature. So pretty much, say I was on this, this is as good as I can example it. If I was on here, and I just click play, stop that music, um, when I went to click on uh, play, it would send, so it would have to actually load, because it, what it would have to do through one singular variable is send every bullet card so it would have to be slow otherwise the other end might fail to process the amount of bullet cards so like if it fails to receive one then the game won't work so uh version 2.3 this is no longer live let me just sign in should have been signed in already here we go so version 2.9 is going to be now. We're no longer live. Get rid of that. 2.9, 2 2.3 was bug fixes. Where is it? Where's my... I, I thought I had to switch here to turn off previews. Uh, okay, never mind. So... Here. Nope. Further up. Beta 2.1. And 2.2 on the 16th, just a day after 2.0. The first one was to do with the difficulty sprite not being defaulted to show medium. The second one was to do with issue with the cards being shown over the menu, uh, where the keep and pass buttons may show on the menu. And I fixed an issue with the computer using the same bullet card number from current bullet card due to it not updating. So say this first one here is live. And you kept it, which means it's now the computer's turn. The computer knows the second one is live. But hold on, bullet card might say, bullet card 2 might say that it is not live. It won't care because current bullet card is the thing that tells it what it should do. While bullet card is what tells it, uh, it's the library, where is it? So I had to add a little piece of code in here. It has to change card pickup, and I think we're in here in the randomizer. Maybe not. Uh, 
This one needs upgrading. It was somewhere in here. No clue where. Uh, that sucks. I wish I knew where. Probably in here. Yeah, CPU turn. So if it doesn't equal, just like the player, this so card pick up. If it doesn't, if it's not zero, then do nothing. So you haven't picked up any cards, which means it has to be zero. But if it's not, then yeah, it stops you from picking it up again. That's the thing that does this. It stops you from picking it up a second time. I have this thing muted because it is. Uh, I'm still working on changing the volume of things. So yeah. Anyway, um, so I have to expand on this and add another thing here, which means let's copy this. Oh, I'm gonna have to make two more changes. This will be card select. Which means it will instead either choose random or set it to uh, cards. And I'll use an if to separate these, which is If users cards, which is if it's equal to random. Random will also mean when you go to use, like join someone, it will tell you before you join is what I plan, but I mean, it would be confusing if you didn't know. So I'm going to have to make it somehow tell the player how this game is. I mean... With it sending that way and sending back, lives will need to share. So that would be two, three. I'd have three left, which could specify game, game, and game. Hmm, maybe. I mean, I could use a gate that heads forward and back, but let's not worry about that right now. If cards equal random if it doesn't then it goes to here so let me just I need to go to cards and edit this one Yeah, it would be nicer if I grabbed this. One, two. I forgot how annoying a lining can be. Duplicate and I'm going to assume the distance. Then we're going to delete this one. Delete that, put that there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six. That should work. One, two, three. Okay, now this one should say one. Okay, nope. That's supposed to say three. Four, three. I forgot. Hang on. 
has to choose a random number in between what and what? Three and seven. So you can pick three. Okay. Now it won't be possible to click just not yet anyway. Four five it won't be possible to get ten cards yet. I'm only going to change this up. Six four five this one's six five six seven. Cards. Anyway, let's put this one here, this one here, uh, this one here, this one here, and this one here. Okay, now I just pretty much gotta duplicate, duplicate, oh my goodness, right, so, thank you, uh, I wanna line it up with the difficulty, 100, minus 125, Minus 125. <laughs> there we go. And then I have to pretty much make it do this. Just a different way. So we're going to grab one, two, three. And I'd say that's all I need. Uh, and we're going to run it off the card variable. Change cards to... Change cards 1. Cards changer one. And we're almost done. Oh my goodness, this is really quick. Thought I could make it easier for myself. Minus 45. Oh, I didn't even type. Minus 45. Yeah. Minus 50. Mm, it's kind of squished, but it works. Oh, no. Oh, that's a pain in the butt. Okay. How much of a difference between this and this is there? Minus 125. Oh, that just hurts. Okay.
let's just pretty much duplicate values like that. Change cards. Okay. Now, when it receives two, which one broadcast two? That one there, which means it's going that way. So if it equals three, then it has to go next. So if it equals one, I just forgot to. Oh, that sucks. I gotta add random. Which I guess can be hashtag. If it equals one and it's told to move forward, it sets it to three. This means it automatically sets it to random. And uh, no random. Three, four, five, six. And it has to switch to three, but if it equals okay, if it equals one and it's told to move forward, it does this. If it equals two, then it has to set it to four. not even the right thing. Oh, it doesn't understand what the game gif difficulty is now. Cards is now going to switch to five. And this one's number five. Now I just reverse all this, I'm pretty sure. So if it's told to go back, call these all apart now. If it's costume one, do nothing. equals five it equals six has to set it back so if it equals six it wants to go back to five and set it to six Three means three.
If it equals one, then do nothing. If it equals two, set it back to random and switch this to random and set it to random. Did it work? I also need to add one more thing before it's um, complete, which is a piece of text to do if the game ends. So if it runs out of cards, you have no clue. Draw. Ran out of cards. You ran out of cards. Mm-hmm. Now this also means I have to find every single spot. This means I have to stop it from showing the menu automatically and add the win or lose thing on it. Uh, your opponent. Ran out of... I can't spell. I can't spell that word. I'd hope that's right. O-P-P-O... Yep, that's right. Your opponent ran out of lives. Draw will be medium red. Lose will be completely red. And win will be completely white. Okay, so this means it has three ways to receive one way here and one way to hide which is menu when i receive game end where is game end That's all the ones just to do with those. Oh no. Where's the one that broadcasts menu? Found it. 
Yeah, I'll let it keep that. So, what I plan to do here now is um, lose win and draw. Now, there's an issue with draw. Card pickup equals bullet amount. Card pickup means you're clicking on it, which means it needs to wait until Oh, how could I do this? Wait until it's bigger then. That would work. Because it's supposed to wait until... Nope, other way. So, that's pretty much a wait until... Draw, win, lose. Now this will run the ghosting script. Which will cause it to wait. Let's just say two seconds, because we don't want people to sit there for ages, because why not? And then we hide it. Uh, same with win, and same with draw. That also means I need to fix up the thing here. Draw is draw. Well, what the heck's these? Lose. Win. Win is not a green because it's not a green. It, no. It's not supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be desperate. <laughs> Uh, and then these all broadcast game end, so, yeah. Now, this should hide on flag. And that's it. I think we're all good. Unfortunately, though, nothing understands what it's supposed to do. So, um... It'll also have to broadcast a toggle end to all these. Oh, that sucks. Game end. Okay, I'm going to disconnect this thing. This thing here is just not. Nah. No. Game end is really important. Which means these here have to deal with game end. I have no clue what the hell just happened. Okay, I, I, I'm sorry, but that just didn't make sense. So, let me just do something with the FX. Uh, where's CPU? CPU doesn't have FX anymore. Oh. Well, that's annoying. 
Maybe I might have disconnected all of them. CPU effects is only if player effects don't exist. Oh. One means live. CPU effects is if it gets a live instead. Right. And this other one. If it's your turn and you pass a live. Yep. And we want to, if there's CPU effects. We want to have a different kind of. Not really, more like. Oh my goodness. It's being weird. But instead, I kind of want it to be backwards. So, like, it goes that way. And we're not having green. We have to be serious about this. So, this is if it has CPU proceeding to pretty much get itself killed compared to you. I'm just going to turn it down here and let everyone hear it now. Here we go. Turns out it's not actually coming through. That sucks. Um, there we go. This thing is really loud. And I will use uh, OBS to test out this thing and equal out the volumes at max while my headphones are off, of course. Here we go, anyway. Let's set it to three. What? What? It said blank. Why did two say blank? Oh, I swear, it's to do with these. It's... it. I, I've got to run debugging, which means I show all these things. Lovely. Show this thing, and show this thing. I swear. Oh, I'm... Okay. Well, that's not going to tell me much. Ne Dude, is that <laughs> it's not giving me any chance. Um, uh, we want to pass the blank. Uh, that means it shot itself. We want to keep the live. Huh? Oh. Oh. Oh, that sucks. Okay, when I receive player turn, that's what it's got to do. And it has to do equal. Because, okay, nice to know that happens. Okay, now let's test it again. Okay. I passed the blank. 
It passes it, okay. I don't know. It was computer's turn. I have no clue what just happened then. Something in here stalled. So I I I don't know. Pass keep. But it was alive. Why did that didn't make too much sense either. So if I start this and went keep, okay, it shot itself. We ran out of cards. Huh. This is really being a pain in the butt now. Oh no. Oh no. No, 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 no. It was supposed to be blank. I wasn't looking at current bullet card, which makes me foolish. Two. Two. Ah, I think I might know now. Because when it takes a turn... It's changing card pickup. I know it is. But it... This is a glitch that I'm never going to be able to fix, I don't think. It's in between here and not really these, I don't think. It's this and this. It's nearing the next turn of a computer. Clean up blocks. Clean up. Oh, these are all messy. These are all really messy. I have no idea how I made them all so messy. Oh, I need that one. No little useless blocks. Nope. There's some useless blocks. Oh, there's more. I think Scratch cleans up it a bit differently to Scratch add-ons, maybe. And delete. Delay clean up. Okay. Now we just clean up all this. Set that to zero. Set that to middle and hide that. Okay, we're all good. Done. Alright, and that is version... Absolutely no clue. I've got to check. 
Uh, that feels more like a 2.6. It took me 40 minutes to do that. Wow. And I call that 2.5? Uh, okay. And I can't see. Okay, now I can. Beta version 2.5. What is the date? The 26. 10 days. Oh, 26. Um. A bit. Added the ability to choose how many uh what else i fixed fixed issue with game ending before the final card when played, no, picked up, sorry, not played, picked up by player. When the final card, when picked up by player, just ends the game. And... Win, lose, and draw endings. Um, computer supposedly incorrectly setting the current bullet card the oh my goodness can't spell that again wow and finally um i forgot what i did now great um that annoys the crap out of me And anyway, um, that's it, I think. That's all I did. I can't remember. Supposedly incorrectly setting the current bullet card variable. Oh, and then I added the CPU FX. And that's it. Okay, great. Well, you'll see this one coming soon. Two point nine is coming soon. Make it possible to play globally and yeah, improve the customization. Make the Uh, new maximum, not maximum, oh my goodness, maximum, what is wrong with me? Make the new maximum amount of bullet cards 10. Okay, and that's it. Well, let's give it a quick test run before I wrap this up.
Make the project audio run at minus 20 decibels, yes. That'll be what I do instantly after this. I'm dead, or not. No, I'm dead. I'm dead. I just died. That's nice. Uh, I'm dead. Bye bye.